Imagine thousands of hours of footage of the most amazing human feasts in history. Sometimes I say it's like looking at the sun. You know, it's it's blinding in its massive beauty. Just being a part of this, you know, monumental occasion of the return to American human spaceflight is you, you can't really dream of a better project to work on. Retro, go, Fido, go, guide, go, control, go, telecom, go, GNC, go. There have not been crewed space flights from the United States since the shuttle was retired in 2011. The commercial crew program is uh, its a big deal. NASA commissioned a graphics package and brand identity for the launch broadcast. including a title sequence and show open. I think you go into every job a little cavalier and like this is going to be fun and then all of a sudden everything hits you like like this wave of oh my god NASA's 60 years of American history we choose to go to the moon in this fatigue. landing on the moon Not rocket launches the blood, sweat, and tears, and it's like, we need to get all that across, and we need to do it so that the people that are involved are proud of it. That's a lot of responsibility all of a sudden. We had Frame.io watching our backs, and we had NASA providing us footage that, that we'd never seen before. And we had resources that they'd never seen before as well. There's a photo of Eric, the graphic designer's wife's grandfather, showing Neil Armstrong how to use the lunar lander that we then parallaxed. And it then became a signature element of the Launch America brand identity, these parallax photos of astronauts and NASA team members in action. You're trying to focus on the humanity of what's happening in the clips and trying to um, bring out the emotion behind the human beings and, and the feeling of crossing these thresholds. Where you're always looking for the emotional payoff with somebody where they feel the thing that you're trying to get across. The, what we're talking about is like the Venn diagram between people, right? And you want to be able to, to explore those spaces between your creativity and my creativity and we find out where those things meet. And if that's a big space, then we play around in a really big space. If it's a really small space, we play around in a really small space. And that's why when you have a, an easy way to communicate, like on Frame IO, you can find those spaces to play in much quicker. You can figure out where our heads align, where our creative spaces align. It's always wonderful to be able to see a project come together and bring that project to life using footage from NASA. We were able to see the product uh, being presented in a kind of movie-like experience. I could watch either on my computer or I could watch on my mobile. And then we were able to put notes uh, in there so that Jeff and his team could see what we needed for future iterations. This is a monumental moment in American history. So to be able to be a part of that and present that to people and to be able to be part of a group that's hopefully getting young people as enthusiastic about it today as we were when we saw this stuff for the first time. I mean, that's a dream come true. Liftoff of the Falcon 9 and Crew Dragon. Go NASA, go SpaceX, Godspeed, Bob and Doug. America has won.